What's up guys? Welcome back to another disc golf video. Today we're going to be covering the Brave from Latitude 64. This is one of their newer discs. It is a 7.6 negative one too. I've been throwing it a lot lately. Um, I, I don't know, comment down below if you guys do this, where you find a disc that you just like throwing and so you just throw it all the time. Even in scenarios where maybe it's not the best disc, but you just feel comfortable with it and you make it work. That's been this disc for me. I can throw it flat, it turns right for me and then stables out. I can throw it on Annie and it lands flat. Um, I can throw it on Heiser and it pushes. It isn't really flipping up yet, um, which is good. I'm ready for it to beat in and get to that point. Comment down below if y'all have thrown this disc or not. Again, it is the Latitude 64 Brave. We're gonna break it down today. See if we can throw some cool shots with it. Let's get into it. All right, gonna throw it flat at that tree on the left. Should pan a little bit right and then stable up. Stood up just a little bit and now it's just pushing straight. I believe that's in the circle. Yeah, so that was great. The speed that we threw it at allowed it to push straight and flip, o, uh, flip up just a little bit and then obviously end up stabling out into the circle here. Good birdie there. All right, let's give that another shot. We're gonna adjust, give this some good ante and some good power to get it around the corner to the basket. Yes, hold that. Well, went around the corner, it might have nicked a tree, but we'll see if we have a putt. All right, so I definitely think we nicked a tree here, but still a nice turnover with that. It doesn't like flip over, it turns, which is really, really nice. You know you can kind of put some power on it. Um, I want to try and go in between these trees. Let's see. Maybe get us a little bit of a hyzer putt. Oh, maybe. Oh, so I haven't thrown it on any forehands yet, but if you guys know me, I love forehands and I actually really like flippy forehands too. My guess is it's going to stand up. This is a 300 foot hole. Just a nice little turn to the right. We're going to throw this on a little bit of hyzer and see if it stands up and pushes towards the basket. Oh yeah. Oh, it turns over on a forehand. Dude. Potential for that though. All right, now this hole is 385 feet uphill. Plays kind of like a 400 foot shot, honestly. Um, we're gonna take the Brave. We're gonna try and pop it. I'm gonna start it off kind of on the left side of the fairway and then have it turn to the right side of that bush up there and then stable up after that. That's the, uh, that's the goal here. Stable up. Yeah, come on. Not bad. I think that gave you all a good example of how the disc can fly. Let's see if we can get a step putt in for you guys. We're looking at about 60 feet here, I would guess. Let's give this a little, little bid. Maybe. Oh. Now this feels like a perfect hole for this disc. Nice little turnover that lands flat. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna aim down the left side of the fairway, turn it, and just let it glide down towards the basket. Oh yeah, hold that. It stabled out a little bit, but man, I love that flight. All right, now I would say this is one of the harder holes out here, at least for me. I feel like it plays about 400 uphill. Got to hit this gap. So I'm going to try and give this some power and see if we can push it up there. I'm going to throw it, try and throw it flat through the gap and allow it to maybe move a little bit right. Oh, 
Look at that, panning a little bit right and then stabling up. I think it just got caught behind a branch. So one of my better drives on this hole, honestly, um, as I've lost my distance, which planning on doing some content to try and get my distance back. I used to do videos working on my distance where I got from like 350 up to 450. And I just haven't gone to the field and practiced in forever. So if you guys wanna see that type of content, let me know. Um, but even with me struggling to get distance now, that disc just flew really, really well. And we're gonna see if we can step this one in. Oh, that's in the tree. Do it. Ah! Oh. Now, one of the reasons that I have really been enjoying this disc and it's turned into one of my favorite to throw is because of the pushing hyzer shots you can do with it. Hyzer is such a natural angle to throw on. And anytime you can find a disc where you can throw it on hyzer, but it goes straight, then that's gonna be really, really useful in your bag. And on this hole right here, it's kind of a snake. We need to go left, but we don't wanna go too left too quick. So we want it to push on this hyzer and just land smooth so that we can have a nice little approach to the basket. So this is gonna be a hyzer and we're just gonna try and push it out there. Inside of it? Okay, or outside, yeah. But that pushed so far up the fairway on a hyzer. So I can see that push super straight for us into the middle of the fairway, which is exactly where we want to be. So now on this shot, I can just throw a forehand with my felon and hopefully get us into the circle for a putt. Big skip for me. Oh yeah, it's about five feet away. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Nice little pushing hyzer, and then that gave us the forehand in. That's what I'm liking it for. All right, once again, like I said, really enjoying this disc for those pushing hyzer shots. So this basket is straight in front of me, but the fairway goes to the right. So we can just throw it around to, through the right gap, with a tiny bit of hyzer and it might stand up a little bit but then it should just settle right down by the basket for us yep i think that's right underneath it well guys doesn't get much better than this, except for maybe if it was dry. That was the perfect example of why I love throwing this disc right now. Goodness gracious. So that is why I have really been enjoying the Brave for all those different shots. Fun turnovers that don't flip, nice pushing hyzers, flat shots that just go and turn just a little bit. Really been enjoying it. Again, the numbers are seven, six, negative one, two. Why don't you guys comment down below if you all throw anything with similar numbers uh, and what type of shots you use it for. Thank you guys for hanging out. See you on the next one.